Hello everyone, I am Siddharthan. So recently, I have been mainly posting videos about generative AI stuff and how to make, you know, RAG applications, LLM chatbots and all those things. And occasionally, I also post uh, machine learning and deep learning projects and all sorts of things. Uh, but I just thought that I could give you some idea on what's the type of content I'm planning so that things doesn't feel random. And basically, like, you know what you can expect from this channel. So that's the main purpose of doing this. So I just wanted to explain you like, again, what are all the topics that we are going to discuss, like whether it can be generative AI, it can be ML ops or, or machine learning and deep learning projects. So I thought that I'll give you a clear plan. And the other main, uh, you know, aspect of this video is to announce about this AI POC. So I've kind of thought about making this unique and, and different video series. I haven't seen this anywhere before. Maybe I haven't seen that, but it's there. But Personally, I haven't seen that on YouTube where we are going to work on like industry level uh, projects related to AI, ML, generative AI and so on. So in this video, I'll just give you a brief idea on all those topics that we are going to cover. And you can also give me feedback on like, you know, how this looks like and, and what are all the other things that you need to add. And then I can look at it and see like if it's possible to add that. And if that's the case, that would be like really beneficial for the viewers as well. So this will be the agenda for today's video. And let's get started. So this AI POC series is the part where I'm excited a lot. So POC is nothing but proof of concepts. And this is what we kind of work in a lot of companies when we join AI, ML and generative AI applications, uh, uh, you know, AI, uh, roles in an organization, right? So if you're working as a generative AI engineer, AI engineer and so on, either you work on billable uh, client projects or you also have, sometimes you get this opportunity to work on this proof of concepts or what we call as prototypes. So you have an idea or a requirement from a client you try to build a prototype for this and then make it as good as possible so that now uh, you know once you present it to the client the client may be interested in making this a separate project so that's what like proof of concepts is all about so in this case right so we are going to have a continuation of this series so it's not going to be a single video for a proof of concept rather we are going to take a requirement detail you know list all the features that we are going to add and try to build this uh, in a continuous process so it can take like 10 videos 20 videos we don't know that so what i'm planning right now is to kind of have regular live streams so that we are going to work together so this is not about me teaching you how to build stuff here we are going to learn together and build together right so so that we can have this continuous live stream where we are building each features part by part Right, and it's not going to be like taking a data set, working on it, just keep everything on your notebook. So this is not going to be like that. So we are going to build something that's as close to production as possible with all the things covered. So we can, uh, you know, have the LLM separately in a backend environment. We can have the user interface in Streamlit. And we can just like manage all those things and also focus on how we can deploy this application. So we would just like start with a basic requirement all the way up to like how you can deploy this. But again, this is not going to be done in a 45 minutes video, one hour or two hour video. So rather we are going to spend a lot of time here, let's say five days a week or six days a week. So I haven't planned a lot about this, but this is the main idea about this. So we are going to take like industry level applications, mainly on generative AI or machine learning, deep learning, like all sorts of things. And we are going to work on this. So this is going to be really helpful, especially like, let's say if you are, uh, you know, just in this learning journey, you're working on projects to put in your resume. This is going to be really helpful because we're not just like focusing on the ML aspect, but also like, uh, you know, how you can build the application in a scalable way, how to, you know, build a well-rounded application, just not the LLM part or the AI part. So that's really important. So like, if you follow this, if you kind of build this project along with me, like at the end of each of these, uh, you know, POCs that we are going to work on. And again, we are going to work on multiple POCs. Like once we complete one POC, we are going to move to the next one and we are going to do that regularly. So once you do this, right, you're going to have so much knowledge on different technical aspects. So you probably would learn like different technical uh, details, technical tools uh, on each of these POCs and it would be really helpful for you. So I'll make a separate announcement video probably today i'll explain in detail like what i'm looking at what's the vision for this particular series and all those things and also like details on uh, what's the frequency of this you can expect whether it's going to be live stream or uh, you know other formats mainly i'm planning live stream but i'll make uh, that particular announcement in a different video but this is like one series that you can look out for so one is this aipoc and as i'm already making videos on generative ai I'll continue to make videos on like these LLMs, chatbots, RAG applications, mainly agents and so on. So we also have like MCP, which is being talked about a lot recently. So I'll try to cover all those things that are coming up uh, recently that are like very new and, and as a AI engineer or a generative engineer, 
a generative AI engineer, we should know that. So I'll make videos on this generative AI as well. So these would be kind of like the top priority. And along with this, I'll also make machine learning and deep learning projects. So how I'm planning is like POC series, like it's kind of separate and we would have these content posted regularly. And maybe every one or two generative AI videos, I would probably post a machine learning or preferably a deep learning project video so that we also get hands on uh, knowledge on the deep learning stuff, not just working on generative AI, but also get understanding on computer vision, NLP and other projects as well. So these are like kind of the top priority. And occasionally I'll also try to post videos on machine learning and deep learning conceptual aspects or some tutorials, right? I know that we have kind of not working on the deep learning series. That's mainly because currently I'm working on generative AI and it's being hard to make videos separately for deep learning as you know as I'm working in generative AI it's kind of a bit easy and convenient for me to make videos on this these topic but I'll try to find a balance and I'll try to you know with all these topics I'll try to fit in uh, the deep learning course videos when it's possible but right now I'm not sure like when that would be doable but I'll, I'll just keep that in mind to do that but what I would say is like anyway we are going to focus on deep learning projects as well so in that also you will definitely learn about the deep learning hands-on part maybe we are lacking on the conceptual aspects of deep learning so I'll try to make videos on that as well but you would definitely be able to learn deep learning in this project series as well and then we would also focus on the ml ops and the cloud part like the ml operations part like you know and then building the cacd pipelines i've made a I think a couple of videos on CACD pipelines as well. So let, let's also continue that like whenever it's possible and work on deployment stuff uh, and, and you know cloud like I'm mainly using AWS so I'll continue to use AWS and, and again whenever possible I'll try to make like similar content on Azure as well. So these are the five things that I'm planning to focus on. Uh, let's say for every generative AI video on MLOps video, let's say that I post one video on generative AI, one video on uh, let's say uh, model deployment I'll post one video on deep learning projects so these deep learning projects will be something that we would keep doing regularly so that the hands-on part is like clear and you get some practice on building deep learning applications along with the generative AI stuff that we are going to focus on mainly so this is what I'm planning right now so the first main aspect is this AI POC series where it's not mandatory that we are going to focus only on generative AI applications I'm mentioning that because that's what companies are working on right now that's a, that's the you know applications that everyone wants to build right now so it's really good to have those skills and you know experience building those applications but also occasionally let's also try to build deep learning applications and other automation applications using ea as well so we would definitely do that so this ea poz is like not just confined to its gen ai but also we let's try to cover like other aspects of VA as well and again the other aspect is like we would have regular machine learning and deep learning projects because of that hands-on practice that we need so this is what i'm planning so one is the aipoc gen ai videos like all the things that are coming up like newly as i said like we have rag graph rag agents which is you know doing great these days and again mcp and all those stuff and then uh we have projects of course and try to somehow like post ml and dl videos whenever possible and also focus on this uh, ml ops cloud and then you know all the deployment stuff and so on so this is what i'm planning i'll make a separate video as i said about this ea poc like uh what's the vision for this and then how detailed we are going to build this projects so one thing i can tell you is like we are going to you know not just build some uh, application that just does something right rather than we are going to make it how you would make it in a company right so that's the main vision that i have right now and it's not going to be like i'm teaching you to build something right so that's not going to be the case here we are going to build it together and we are going to learn together so yeah we are going to work together so that's what i can tell you so we will spend continuous time on this try to build this application and end of like this one series you would have learned several technical details you would have like learned other technical stuff like that you probably don't know before let's say if you're new to aws or azure that's one technical skill that you would have acquired because we would also focus on deployment in our application so similarly at the end of each of this series i could definitely uh, assure you that you would definitely be uh, you know improve with your technical skills and there are also the business concepts and the requirements that you would need and, and how to look at this application rather than just like 
focusing on the technicalities how, how you can understand the business requirement of the use case as well so this is what we are going to focus on so i hope that you are excited as me as well so if you have any feedback if you are interested in like other contents and if you let's say i have some other ideas please drop those in the comments so i'll try to go through that and i'll see like if it's a really good thing i'll try to see if i can incorporate this with this current plan but this is what you can expect from my channel so yeah that's all i wanted to share today i'll see you in the next upload thanks for watching